wonders and worries of nanotechnology. Brought to you by Science. This is the story of Mindy, a young person much like yourself. Mindy wonders about the risks and benefits of nanotechnology, but she doesn't have the vocabulary or the smarts to fully articulate it just yet. Of course, you may not wonder about nanotechnology like Mindy does, but you should. Here, Mindy is thinking. I wonder what's really in this stuff. Hey, sis, are you thinking about that nanotechnology again? Oh, Denny, I sure am. Did you know that scientists are able to move atoms and molecules around to make that nano stuff that's too small to see and then put it in our facial creams? A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. Wow, that's so small it's hard to even imagine. Gee, you sure are whip smart, Mindy. Oh, I know, Denny. I sure don't know much about that newfangled technology. Well, itty bitty particles have always been around. What's new is that scientists will be able to manipulate them, making them do whole new things. That Mindy sure is thinking. Little does she know that scientists today predict that by the 21st century, we'll have many products containing nano-sized particles. And those products might change our lives for the better. Just like the modern-day marvels of nuclear power, computers, lead paint, whiteout, asbestos, and the TV remote. Ah, progress. I was just thinking, what if they were to put nanoparticles in my makeup? Say, that sounds like a nifty idea. You want to look pretty, don't you? Oh boy, do I. It may make me look peachy keen, but we don't know exactly what those itty bitty particles will do in my body. Or in the environment. Yes, indeed. With every new technology, we need to weigh the risks against the benefits. Say, Mindy, how do you know if your cosmetics contain those itty-bitty particles? I don't. That's what gets me in the patootie. Manufacturers are not required to inform us. If only there was some place, like a library for the entire world, where we could look it up. Researchers could make lists of the products scientists and companies are changing, and then I could think whether or not I want to buy those products. Oh, well. Too bad no such place exists. Gee, we're sure up a creek with this. Oh, don't have a hissy, Denny. It's not all bad. They use those itty-bitty particles in a wide range of products. There are many different types of applications, and many could really improve our lives. Why, in the medical field? The use of that stuff could save lives. They could make products that kill germs or finally provide a cure for terrible diseases. Well, I feel like a dipstick. Oh, Denny, don't beat yourself up. We all need to give nanotechnology some thought since it will impact our lives. Just like with any new technology, we need to be educated so we can make the best decisions about our face creams and our disease killers. Ah, thanks, sis. <laughs> that Mindy sure is on to something. Nanotechnology does apply to all our lives. So, what do you think? Do the benefits of nanotechnology outweigh the risks? Like every good citizen, you should give nanotechnology some thought and then do your homework. Your local science museums will be happy to help you search for more answers.